Welcome back to the first day of the day on 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Lee's drunk. I want to be. I don't know about you, but I love listening to the classics. Vivaldi, Mendelssohn, Beethoven. Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Van Halen. No, Joe, the classics, as in classical music, as in symphonies, are beautiful harmonious notes and melodies that harken back to a time that will never be again. Yeah, all of that applies to Zeppelin. But I get what you're saying. Old dudes in white wigs type of music. Exactly. And of course, it's been determined that music in general improves mood and mental activity of people, unless, of course, you're listening to Sarah McLaughlin or Bon Iver. But the reason why classical music is superior to, let's say, Zeppelin is because the complexity of its composition. It sends people people's brains moving in all different directions, and the synapses increase the secretion of brain chemicals. I'm beginning to think you've never even heard cashmere. Uh, yeah, I've heard cashmere. I'm a living, breathing human, aren't I? But classic rock and classical are not exactly the same thing. For example, in one of the many studies done with classical music, two groups of people were asked to exercise, one group listening to classical music, the other listening to nothing at all. And the group that exercised with classical music proved to be more relaxed and focused than the other group. Relaxed and focused. Is it because it loosens you up, you know, and kind of relaxes you, as opposed to rock music, which makes your adrenaline rise and gets your heart pumping and gets your dick hard? That's actually exactly what it is. In fact, in another study done at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford, 96 patients undergoing surgery were randomly assigned to either Beethoven, Vivaldi, or Bach, or silence. And all of them were awake during the procedures under a local anesthetic. Um, awake? Yeah, awake. And it turns out that the half who has played music had lower breathing rates, anxiety, and recovered faster. The surgeon behind the whole study, Hazim Sadidian, said, This small-scale work is the first time an attempt has been made to measure the impact music has in specific group of patients and hints at the need for a bigger multi-center research to establish whether or not this should become part of a standard practice. Neat! Although if I'm gonna be awake during surgery, I'm probably gonna want to listen to something like this. Banana! Uh, or, or what about this? Yeah! Yeah, what is this? Classical music, Joe. I do not mind this. So guys, leave us a comment down below. Do you think this actually works? And what other stressful life situations do you think classical music might help with? Rock the like and subscribe buttons and then hit the sanitation and go to sourcefed.com for the five stores of the day or anything that we've ever covered. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Wow! Yeah!